Hello Tree Church kids, it's time for another exciting lesson. This week we're going to revisit the story of Lazarus since we had a snow day last week in the building. But this week we're going to talk a little bit differently about it and think a, a little bit deeper about what it means to have faith and to be able to have faith in hard times. So guys, we're going to have fun, watch the video, do the memory verse, and then stick around for prayer time. Here we go. Today we are talking about holding on to your faith. Now that's easy when things are going your way. When everything is great, it's easy to say that God is good. But holding on to your faith in tough times is a different story. When everything feels like it's falling apart, it's hard to remember that God is in control. That's when you need your faith to remind you that God is still good. We can read the Bible and see folks that held on to their faith, and many good folks who didn't do so well in hard times. We are just like them. Sometimes we're strong and other times not so much. But God loves us just the same and he is still there doing what is best for all of us. Here's a story about some of Jesus' best friends and what happened to their faith in a hard situation. This is Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. They were brothers and sisters and they were really good friends with Jesus. Jesus loved them all very much. One time, Jesus was away teaching, and Lazarus became sick. In fact, he was very, very sick, and they all knew he was probably going to die. Mary and Martha immediately thought about Jesus. They knew he was the Son of God and could heal their brother. They sent messengers to tell Jesus to come home quickly. But Jesus waited. In fact, he waited for two days before he headed home. That may seem unkind, but remember, Jesus knows everything, and he was in control of this situation too. Now Lazarus became even more sick. Soon he passed away. They wrapped bandages and cloths around his body and placed him in a tomb type of grave. Jesus finally made it back. Now Lazarus had been dead for four days. Martha ran to where Jesus was walking. Lord, if you would have come, you could have saved my brother, she said. Jesus said, your brother will rise again, Martha. Now Martha thought he was talking about eternal life, but Jesus had a special miracle plan. He asked to see Mary. Martha returned and told her that Jesus wanted to see her. She ran from the house to go to him. Friends and family that were comforting them saw her rush out and they followed her. They thought she must be going to the graveside to cry and mourn. Mary fell to her knees crying when she got to Jesus. Why didn't you come right when we sent for you? As she cried, all the friends and family started crying with her. Jesus asked where they buried Lazarus. Then he began to cry with them. Jesus cried because his friends were hurting. One of his friends said, see how much he loved Lazarus? While some of the other friends said he healed a blind man so he could have surely saved his friend. Martha and Mary and their friends should have known that Jesus could do anything, that Jesus was there for a reason. But Jesus wasn't mad. Instead, in that moment, he cried with his friends, knowing they couldn't understand everything. Next, Jesus went to the tomb. He yelled, Lazarus, come out of that tomb. Suddenly, Lazarus appeared in the doorway of the tomb. He was walking. He still had bandages around his head, feet, and hands. Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. What a happy moment for that family. Now, Jesus doesn't bring everyone back to life because he knows that eternal life for those who believe in him is the best place for his children. But he brought Lazarus back to life so that Martha and Mary's faith would be restored. He brought Lazarus back so that you and I could read this story and realize that God is still good even when we think things are going bad. I bet Martha and Mary had stronger faith after they saw what Jesus did. Hi Tree Church kids, it's Miss Tip here and I'm here to do your memory verse with you here this week. We're going to review it and then do it two fun ways. So here we go, ready? 
If you love one another, everyone will know that you are my disciples. John 13, 35. Great job, guys. All right, our next fun way is we're gonna sing it. Are you ready? Here we go. If you love one another, everyone will know that you are my disciples. John 13, 35. Good job, guys. All right, our last fun way is we're gonna go shopping. So you have a shopping cart in front of you and you're gonna get this stuff off the shelf. Are you ready? Here we go. If you love one another, everyone will know that you are my disciples. John 13, 35. Great job, guys. See you next week. What a great time today. Let's pray. God, thank you. Thank you that you love us even when our faith is tiny. Even when we don't turn to you and rely on you and talk to you, you love us just the same because that's the kind of gracious, caring, loving God you are. So God, I just ask you to be with these kids and things that they're going through and situations going on in their homes and things that are happening at school where they need you, where they can't feel your presence and they're worried and they're scared, remind them that you're there. Help them to remember to cry out to you. Help them remember to just say your name and that you're there in the situation. God, we love you so much. We're so grateful for all that you are. And we pray this all in your mighty and amazing name. And everybody says, amen. Guys, have a great week. I hope your faith is strong. I'll see you soon. Hugs and blessings.